According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, jobs in the tech industry are expected to grow by 11% over the next decade. And that's why it's more important than ever to get our youth involved in tech education early. Joining us today to talk about the 10th annual Code Crew Hackathon and how it's shaping the tech leaders of tomorrow, Code Crew Executive Director Meka Agwekwe and Code Crew student Kennedy Stewart. Thanks so much for coming in, guys. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Okay, Meka, what is a hackathon? And, and then explain this year's theme. Sure, a, a hackathon is basically, it's not hacking like hacking into mm. a bank or the military or anything like that. <laughs> it's really uh, hacking is uh, writing software without a plan and that's fun to do. And so uh, we, our hackathon brings kids together in a weekend to for them to just uh, have a challenge, break up in teams and uh, have a chance to win prizes with a challenge, in this case in the AI space, using AI to improve their city. Yeah, we have to get our minds really, really wrapped around that. Okay, Kennedy, you have won the uh, Congressional App Contest. So you know that this is a big deal. And now you have a new title this year. Explain what you're going to be doing. Uh, this year, I'll be working with CoCrew as a technology coach to our TA um, and ha helping encouraging students the same way I was during the hackathon, which means, you know, letting them know that, you know, the sky's the limit um, and encouraging them to try new things. Okay, we're in a moment going to get to see what you've worked on, but make a, there, so there are 100 participants? Yeah, more than 100 participants more coming together for our 10th an annual hackathon, so it, we're really excited about this big event. And, and does it involve the the rest of the nation or it's all here people come here and they they it's, a, it's all here locally in Memphis at uh, it'll be at this uh, Southwest uh, Tennessee Community College Macon campus this year uh, on June uh, excuse me July 25th through 27th and uh, yeah they'll be converging physically here in Memphis though we do have some kids coming from as far as Texas and Florida and, and Virginia okay we're gonna talk to you in a moment about how to get involved but show us uh, tell us what you're gonna be showing us this morning okay so EcoTrace is essentially an AI powered web app basically designed to revolutionize the way we handle waste management and recycling and you did this and this is what you won uh, yeah this is what we won for and this is exact also what we did at the hackathon in two days which is crazy to think about um, so essentially it functions as if you were to walk into a grocery store store and scan an item um, so for example okay. you mind if I just do it right oh, now? oh please yeah yeah <laughs> we can see you <laughs> if I have this water bottle I finish drinking it it could be you know my favorite juice or just plain old regular water and I put it in front of my camera right here. I submit my photo <gasps> and it tells me what it is, what Stop. it's made out of, and how to recycle it. Then if, you know, I know it's a new age, everything's shared on social media and a way to encourage our users to continue doing it, we can be like, hey guys, it <laughs> I love plastic. No, you don't. You, no, no, no. Let's, let's go there. No. Or, I love recycling plastic. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I love recycling plastic. Plastic, right? And this is uh, just a way for our users to stay connected with each other. And, and then it posts. At, oh, you can submit the photo. Yep. Stop. <laughs> wow, and what it is, is it's about what you're putting inside your body and, and the environment. Okay, so Mika, how exciting is this to see? And I mean, just what can people expect this week? Sure. during those two days. So, so uh, it's very exciting that, that, you know, when kids are equipped with the skills of being, you know, uh, computational thinkers and doers and producers, uh, they surprise us and show us what they can do, right? And these kids came up with this great idea because they're passionate about the environment. Uh, and so what, what kids can expect this week, and which we encourage, encourage parents to sign the kids up this week, is for, uh, for them to uh, be in teams, to use AI, to uh, address issues that they're concerned about as kids, right? And they will surprise us completely with what they do. Uh, like, just as this team produced, uh, you know, this p recycling app, uh, others produce everything from uh, using data to predict strokes uh, mm. to all kinds of things that improve their community, so. Do you have, how advanced do you have to be like, uh, like Kennedy, was everyone like a, like a coding genius oh, on your team? Oh, absolutely not. So the way the hackathon functions is that when you walk in, even though it can be overwhelming, it's very exciting and you see some familiar faces, but often not you'll see people you don't even know people from uh, you know different parts of Memphis or people from uh, different states as like I said earlier um, and they'll be they could be a digital digital designer they could their focus could be in art or they could have only taken one class at their school but it doesn't matter what level you are I think the hackathon is built just to show just to test your own limits and oh, you really lead it. on each other all right we put the information on the screen it's free 
It is, it is free. It is gratis, free everybody. Okay, thank you so much for coming in and inspiring the next generation and teaching the next generation um, because we need it. Appreciate right. you. Thank you, thank you so much. And so